Grèce hein, qui euh, s'est développée et qui continue de se déplacer tout droit vers nos régions. Alors, c'est loin d'être terminé. En ce qui a trop commencé, parce qu'on pourrait accumuler de bonnes bandes de précipitations vers plusieurs régions de l'Est d'ici demain. Il faut dire que c'est encore sous l'influence du front chaud euh, dont on bénéficie de cette marque de même 50 km h ce soir, accompagné d'averses... it moves into the Maritimes, but that's for tomorrow. So we'll take a look at those watches and warnings coming up in the long-range forecast. Right now, though, let's join Gary. He's been tracking these storms this afternoon. Gary? And storm is certainly an understatement. Uh, there has been, of course, uh, cities all over the place, from Muskoka to Windsor, from uh, certainly Kitchener and London, right through to the uh, Toronto regions, uh, points to the east, of course. We're going to show you. We're going to take you close up in the next couple of minutes here and uh, embed you within all this thunderstorm activity. Not physically, but uh, certainly uh, as we take a look at it uh, from a figurative standpoint here, as we get into Ontario and all those uh, watches and warnings that are in effect. Uh, they've been coming and going so fast they were from the by the time uh, Michelle was talking earlier on to the time we got to air uh, thunderstorm warnings came and went for the Toronto York and Durham regions they came they went uh, and uh, we still doesn't mean the watch is not in effect we still have severe thunderstorm watches but uh, when a cell is actually moving into the region and starts to move out again they uh, bring the uh, warning in and the warning goes out as it moves through the area that is exactly what's happened but we do have an addition now of course as those thunderstorms and that cold front continues to rock itself eastward uh, severe thunderstorm warning Victoria County, Peterborough County, uh, Central Hastings County, Southern Hastings County, Northumberland County, Prince Edward County, all those areas just east of Toronto, and it still is in effect and was added not so long ago for uh, the regional municipality of Hamilton, Wentworth, and also uh, Niagara regions and maintained for Essex, Kent, Elgin, Middlesex, Oxford, Brant, and uh, Haldeman, Norfolk as well. So all of this, of course, the potential within this embedded for hail, lightning, downpours, uh, reducing uh, visibility, uh, wind gusts in excess of 90 kilometers an hour for short periods of time. All of this is going to, of course, continue to occur. Severe thunderstorm watch also continues not just through southern regions of Ontario, but also extended right here into the western areas of Quebec as well. And it has been extended from uh, Vaudreuil, uh, Solange, Huntingdon, Le Chute, Saint-Jérôme, Gatineau, Lief, Papineau, to Laurent the Parc de mont tremblant and the Saint-Michel-de-Saint as well have been added to that watch, so we're seeing it even uh, further. Uh, basically, what else we've got is for tomorrow. We'll tell you about that coming up, too, in just a couple of minutes on our long range. Right now, let's get a look at uh, this line of thunderstorms. Follow this through Quebec with the clouds and showers that are building all the way into uh, St. Leonard in northern New Brunswick now. Clear and cooler weather is maintained here after that frosty night you had in the Maritimes last night. And then behind that, Contrast as well. Uh, Steve Panel, our news director, was just in uh, telling me about how some of the contrasts have occurred. And he measured uh, temperature, as we were saying earlier, about 3 degrees in Sudbury. And as you move down towards St. Catharines, the temperature there, 22 degrees. So we're talking like uh, 19 degree differences uh, within this uh, geographical region here. So very, very strong uh, contrast there. We can't overemphasize that for you enough today. Heading west, though, it's, uh, well, a cool day, as we said, behind all of that. That's going to move into Ontario tomorrow. Cloud Clouds and showers continuing across the prairies. Uh, fairly warm day, though, into the southern regions because of this system right here. This is a little pocket of 17 degree temperatures down into Lethbridge and uh, Swift Current, for example. And instability behind that low pressure system that scooted its way in there yesterday. So still lots of scattered showers along the uh, BC coast and parts of Vancouver Island as well. Here's a look at it. The clearer, cooler weather across the eastern regions. Newfoundland today, uh, it's up to about 13, though, as this warm front starts to envelop the maritime slowly. You may see the temperatures actually continue to 
warm up uh, in the Maritimes tonight, as a matter of fact, despite the fact that we'll be starting to see those wind warnings kick into, uh, into effect for many areas here and uh, also uh, for uh, tomorrow as well. Wind warning continues. There you get a good look at it into uh, the uh, Port of Basque Rec House area, maybe up to 120 gusts there, very localized effect. Here's the thunderstorms down into southern Ontario. As we said, it's also been extended, this one into uh, Quebec, to include uh, areas a little bit uh, further to the east now, and of course, it is in effect for all of southern regions of Ontario. And here is the line of thunderstorms. Look at this. All the way through now, Montreal, Ottawa, right along this southern edge here. This whole system is moving right through, and all those are very, very intense thunderstorms. Watches and warnings, of course, as we said, continue in effect for the next few hours as it does rock and roll its way through the region. Up in northern Ontario, clear day. Our key element south of the border into the USA is related to the same cold front right here. That is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Ohio. And of course, we're keeping an eye right down here on uh, tropical storm Irene and its effect uh, maybe within the next 12 to 18 hours on the Florida Keys, Michelle. Thanks very much. de l'Ontario, du Grêlon, et même un petit peu plus tôt aujourd'hui euh, sur euh, l'Outaouais, un petit peu plus tôt cet après-midi sur l'Outaouais, Grêlon de la taille, entre autres du côté de Wakefield, la taille d'un 5 sous. Alors, euh, c'est ce qui s'amène sur le Québec, là, donc situation euh, propice au développement d'orages quand même euh, assez, assez bien constitué. Alors, en situation de vent comme ça, quand l'orage arrive, ça gonfle évidemment les rafales de vent qui peuvent facilement atteindre 1,90 km à l'heure. On l'a vu brièvement, là, la ligne d'orage, là où c'est le plus fort. Vous voyez ces pointes orageuses bon, euh, du côté de l'Outaouais, euh, tout autour de Montebello, sur, à l'est de Chenéville. Tout ça est en progression vers les secteurs de Brébeuf, euh, également du côté de Saint, au sud de saint jovit là au cours de la prochaine euh, demi-heure. Il euh, faut surveiller le tout. Pour ce qui est de, du développement plus au sud, donc ça reste à voir. Pour l'instant, les cellules sont surtout déportées au nord, donc euh, sur la région des Laurentides, pour ce qui est des orages les plus forts à l'heure actuelle. Donc, euh, possibilité de rafale de vent assez appréciable. Il n'y a pas seulement que les feuilles qui vont partir au vent, euh, mais également, euh, il y a possibilité de, de bris de branches là, au cours euh, des prochaines minutes en raison de la présence de ces cellules orageuses. Bon, euh, pour ce qui est des précipitations comme telles, ben, vous voyez que le corridor, encore une fois, se trouve surtout au nord de la vallée du Saint-Laurent, mais il y aura un rabattement vers la région métropolitaine là, au cours euh, des prochaines heures. Débordement, donc ça a été plus actif, euh, forcément à Mauricie, région de Port-Neuf, secteur de Québec au cours des dernières heures, avec une coulée sur la rive sud vers le Témiscouata, et ça, ça se poursuit au cours des prochaines heures. Donc, euh, précipitations de longue durée, il y a même eu un débordement vers euh, la péninsule acadienne, c'est plutôt léger pour l'instant, mais avec euh, le rapprochement de la perturbation, évidemment, là, les, les gouttelettes vont se faire passablement nombreuses et le vent va augmenter constamment au cours des prochaines heures. Donc, euh, vous le voyez, là, pour euh, ce qui est du sud du Québec, euh, tout autour de, de Montebello, Turceau, Ripon, on a de fortes cellules. Également, euh, cellules en développement là, sur euh, la portion sud du, de la réserve papineau labelle Donc, euh, tout ça est à surveiller sur la région de la Naudière. C'est là où les orages sont le plus forts pour l'instant. Et si on regarde la carte de foot, donc c'est quand même assez représentatif. Et comme je le disais, bon, ben, ça, ça va s'avancer sur le, la région des Laurentides là, au cours des prochaines minutes, vraisemblablement sur euh, Saint-Jérôme d'ici euh, 17h30. Et puis, euh, c'est vers la toute fin de l'après-midi ou à l'amorce de la soirée, là, pour ce qui est de la région métropolitaine, on pourrait subir les assauts de ce qui restera de ces cellules orageuses. Mais chose certaine, c'est qu'on va écoper de pluie et une pluie qui risque d'être quand même assez intense pendant quelques heures ce soir. Tout autour de Québec, là, pour l'instant, euh, pluie, oui, mais pas question d'orage. Ça va venir avec euh, le rapprochement du cœur de la perturbation à mesure qu'on va avancer vers euh, la soirée ou le début de la nuit prochaine. Tout ça avant que le vent change de direction et passe au nord-ouest. Oh, sorry, down around Port of Basque regions, we're still seeing that uh, indication of winds that could uh, gust up to 120 km an hour, and it's going to just get more intense tomorrow. Here's the active weather again. Watch the extensions. We said it's continuing now up into the Laurentides, uh, uh, Parc uh, de mont and... Uh, Uh, also, uh, other regions a little further to the east, including uh, certainly the Gatineau and uh, Liev and uh, Papineau regions, for example. 
as we look at uh, what's happening there, and uh, Vaudreuil and uh, Solange, Huntington regions, also down into southern Ontario's more easterly regions, the Ottawa Valley, back down through Prince Edward County. Uh, Trenton's been reporting uh, the thunderstorms. Peterborough's reporting the thunderstorms. Hamilton, Niagara regions are reporting the thunderstorms currently. And here are the thunderstorms, ladies and gentlemen, all the way down through the Niagara region. Tout ça coule au nord du fleuve, mais il y a tout de même une progression là, lente, mais certaine, vers le sud du Québec au cours des prochaines heures. Et de fait, ça a été pas mal l'histoire de la journée, donc les précipitations, surtout au nord du fleuve, avec un crochet à l'est de Québec. Là, déjà, ça a commencé sur tout l'est de la province, que ce soit sur la côte nord ou en Gaspésie. On a de la petite pluie qui est appelée, évidemment, à s'intensifier avec euh, le rapprochement de la perturbation qui va dégénérer en tempête pour le secteur de l'est du Québec et les provinces maritimes, évidemment. Alors, euh, bon, les précipitations commencent à rejoindre le secteur euh, à proximité de la chute sur Montebello, sur Sceau. Euh, vous êtes sur le point d'être euh, sous l'eau. Ça va tomber quand même assez fort. Et il y a quelques cellules orageuses là-dedans. Euh, pour l'instant, on n'identifie pas d'orage fort, mais il pourrait y avoir encore euh, quelques bonnes taches de pluie assez intenses là, quand ça va rejoindre la région métropolitaine. D'ici euh, 20h, 20h30, au préalable, ben, c'est évidemment du côté des basses Laurentides, là où on est en train déjà d'essuyer euh, l'avenue des, des premiers nuages de pluie. Et derrière cette ligne, on a donc le vent qui prend du nord-ouest et qui amène du temps un peu plus frais. Pour l'instant, on a encore secteur euh, au nord de Montréal, basse Laurentide, vers euh, l'Outaouais, quelques cellules orageuses. Il en restera pour une partie de la soirée. Et puis notre perturbation va devenir... Here's that area around uh, the wreck house uh, with the potential for gusts in excess of 100 up towards 120 kilometers an hour. Down into southern Ontario again, we've seen some modifications. I expect continuing further modifications uh, in the downward trend as this cold front slides through and east of these areas and it's already dropped off as most of the thunderstorm activity continues to roll out over the lake. There you can see Toronto embedded with some severe thunderstorm activity, but uh, most of it of the non-severe variety and the severe thunderstorm watches have ended, but you can certainly see where they continue to be active uh, for this evening hours. Uh, even into parts of Mexico, there might be some uh, rerouting of the, the flights as a result. So it is very active. Otherwise, as we move up north a little bit, uh, just into the Great Lakes region, we have that cold front that is quite active. We have actually some severe thunderstorm warnings into uh, Pennsylvania, western New York, and Ohio. It's been pretty stagnant for the last uh, at least an hour and a half. Uh, we did have tornadic activity earlier, but this is all slowly moving eastward. And we also have a trough into the Carolinas, unfortunately. That's the moisture we are seeing here. It's just starting to pass out now, but likely we will see some more uh, flood warnings uh, happening over the next 12 hours as a result. So these are the weather makers now. Across the country, as we begin out west, certainly this system, the wreck house area of Newfoundland in excess of 100 kilometers an hour, taking a look at the radars, we can see where some of that moisture is into the Montreal region, and uh, that slowly will continue to push uh, into an eastward progression here. As we we take a look uh, across Ontario, I wanted to just uh, talk a little bit what happened earlier today. Uh, certainly, uh, we had widespread uh, hail reports, anywhere from 10 millimeters to loony-sized hail. We had strong wind gusts, a lot of rainfall, and thunderstorms. So keep that in mind uh, for you into the Maritimes. That's in the forecast for tomorrow. Thunderstorms are a, a possibility, certainly, and uh, the bulk of it is now over. It's starting to clear up a little bit. We'll see the odd clear break even into southern Ontario. As we take a look at the radar, there are still a few cells that are quite active, but there are no more warnings or watches. We had severe thunderstorm warnings into the southwestern Ontario and watches into the eastern sections, and then it started to break up slightly. As we move across now, this... We've got a cold front sweeping through southern Ontario right now. Some very strong winds being reported in the Toronto area. Gusts right now over 60 kilometers an hour. And uh, very gusty winds up into northeastern Ontario. That's behind the system. Rain right now through the Ottawa area making its way towards Montreal as well. There's the warm front in advance of it. It was a very mild day, though, in southern Ontario with uh, daytime highs for Toronto, Ottawa, and Montreal of 18 to 21 degrees and similarly 
with those Chinook winds I was talking about last only 10 degrees on a Wednesday and as I mentioned a cold night in northern Ontario we continue to get some flurries around Timmins and we continue to get some rain around Toronto you can see though it's mainly now over Toronto Island and uh, just out along the uh, across Lake Ontario and as well up along the St. Lawrence, so now rain moving into the Montreal area. As this system is moving rapidly, it's going to deepen as it does move, and once it gets into the Maritimes, rain beginning around dawn in uh, New Brunswick, and that's going to result in a heavy rainfall warning for the day. With weather slams parts of Ontario. International help is on the way for Mexico and waiting for the weather to warm up. Hello, I'm Marcia McMillan. This is Earthwatch News. Some severe weather nailed parts of Ontario on Wednesday. A cold front moving through the region sparked thunderstorms with strong winds, lightning, torrential rain and hail. Loony-sized hail hit the Wallaceburg area northwest of Chatham. Trees north of Toronto were toppled as wind squalls reached 100 kilometers an hour. And there were also scattered power outages. But by late Wednesday, almost all electricity had been restored. The system has now moved into Quebec and is producing thunderstorms there.